Yes, this is a stream. Hi uh, everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be doing something that's completely different for this channel. This is going to be a painting video on a 40k miniature. Specifically, this will be a Primaris Intercessor. I think it's the Sergeant, if I'm mistaken. I'm probably mistaken. I'm usually mistaken. Or it could just be a guy who has a Vox in his hand. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, I just want to get right into this. Um, I've never done a painting stream before, so... This might be a good way to laugh at my failure. <laughs> so, yeah, just, um... I got the guy right here. I primed him already. I put on a blue layer just as an undercoating. He's been gone... He's been put through the wash a few times, if you know what I mean. Not not an actual wash, like a painting wash. I haven't done that yet, but the actual metaphor. I'm going to shut up now. That would be a good idea. Now, um, before we go on, my voice might sound a little hoarse or scratchy times. It's because I have apparently had a really nasty cold for the last, like, four or five days. And I didn't realize how bad it was until today where I started feeling better. It's like, oh shit, I was not safe to leave the house. Why the hell did I do that? So I wanted to do something a little more relaxing today. I was going to do like a game video or something fun and like energizing. I was like, I don't have the energy for that. No, it's really a paint because that's what I've actually been doing with a few other models. Actually, I got them right over here. I've put a few pictures up on YouTube, but here's one of the other ones I recently did. You can uh, just kind of see the guy. See if it'll zoom in. No, no, wait. Oh, 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 almost did there. Yeah. I've been working on him for way more hours than I should have. Not professional level, but considering this is the third mini I've ever painted in my life, and this will be the fourth right here, I'm not, I'm not complaining. See if I can improve. <clears throat> yeah. I've got a whole box of them back there. Well, not really a box. They're just on the shelf. So, yeah, let's get started. I've also upgraded my setup, so let's see if this works. Uh, let's see, and if it crashes, <laughs> that'll be fun. Open the sesame. Oh, hey, it actually worked. Cool! <laughs> yeah, I, oh, shit, crap, already dropped my brush. Joy. Now, well, I probably should start up by, let's see. Ah, uh, that's what I need to do. All right, I'm just going to go and pull up. A small mini picture for me of what he's supposed to look like so that I can actually see what he's supposed to look like that would help yeah okay on camera right now I'm actually just pulling up a I guess a reference image okay that that'll work that will work my camera just froze in it uh, it does that see this is what I was worried about let's try this again cam link I was having issues with this earlier. It's why I didn't start right away. This should fix it. Okay, that fixed it. Editing this part out. All right. Now let's see. I got the image up for reference. I think a good starting point. Um, Well, he's mostly blue already, and he has the helmet in. I kind of want to work on the silver sections, the black of the actual gun. I might want to make his actual little logo right here. You can barely see it in the camera. This will be gold. I'll be working on that. And just because for the other ones I've done the same thing, I will probably go over here as well and do that. I have a few ideas what I want to do, so let's get started. I think I will start on the silver and work my way over to black. I won't be adding the logos today because I don't know where I put them. Little insignias. I, um, I lost them. I'm not proud of that. Let's see, where is the black one? Uh... Ah, oh, here we go. Just going to shake it up a bit. <clears throat> yeah, oh, that does not sound good. Ooh. Just going to open this. Ooh, baby. If it sounds like that, it has to be illegal. Oh, man. And let's just take a nice big glob. I'm not going to be using too much. A little dot should do it. Okay, now I'll just uh, work this around on the tip. And now just get a bit of water. Now I know that's probably too much, but... Well, if it's too thin, I can always add just enough layers until it works. I could get individual sections of the gun, but I'm just going to get all of the gun right off the bat. Yep. 
just get all of it in there because I care more about having a good underlayer of black than anything else. All right. Let's just put it like a nice, happy little gun. I'm actually surprised I went this long without making a Bob Ross reference. Hmm. Hope the stream's holding up on your end. And again, if there's any issues, let me know. I'll just jump in and fix them up. Just put a little happy little gun in there. I've already said that, but I'm going to probably... It is it all? Ah. The one thing I found with Citadel paints, sometimes they dry out really fast. Or I'm not adding enough water. Again, I don't mind if they get really thin. I'm going to be doing multiple layers anyways. So it doesn't really bother me. What I want to do, though, is minimize painting over areas that I don't want to repaint with blue. That would be annoying. The upside, though, is blue is rather dark, so I'm not too worried about that. Get a little more black in there. And again, I know I'm thinning this way more than I need to, but I'm okay with that. Okay, there's a little too much ink on my brush. I do not want to spread that around yet. That's better. Just enough that I can see it, not enough it'll really do anything. Okay, that's better. Just want to get it in the little crannies here. I know the wash will get most of the nooks and crannies later, but I don't want to rely on the wash to get it. It's more, in my opinion, a backup. If I don't... Ah, I got a bit on his head. And his hand. Well, crap. Eh, well, that's why I can always touch it up later. Not the worst outcome. Get right under the gun. Like, right under the sight. You can just see it right there. Okay, it's starting to come along pretty well. Now, I did not clip this unit really as well. I probably should have sanded that down more. But I really wanted to paint. In future times, I would probably spend more time actually doing that. So that I don't have to worry about that. You can barely see it, but there's a bit of an extra tag I did not file off at the front of the gun where it was attached to the... Let's go mold. I'm not actually sure what it's called. It's going to call it a mold. All right. Oh, and the back of the gun needed a little work, too. Let's see. I think that's a good bit right there. Got a little more black. Hmm. Now let's see, what should I do next? I'm looking at... I can get the pouches, but I've been doing most of those in white. But I was doing that for this intercessor, so... Might as well, I want to do more black on this guy. <coughs> hmm, let's create back. Let's go with... I can do the eyes in red. Ah, of course, the folds. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. Now this I will definitely need to touch up later because I doubt I have enough control to really keep it just to the folds. Right around the mm, happy place. I'm not, this fold right here is just a little too thin for me to even try. And unlike a few of the models, they don't really have much here. Oh, but his ass is uncovered, and I need to get it because it has the folds there. And they come around to be visible on the other side. So I have to paint his ass. He's ass king for it. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that was a bad joke. I do that. So if you're here for your first time, I apologize for everything. This is unfortunately how I am. All right. I'm going to definitely have to touch this back area up later. But right now, I... Th oh, there's a section behind that panel. Oh, I missed that. Huh. It's one-sided. And he doesn't have that same hole right there that the intercessors had. Not the intercessors, the uh, reavers. That's what I was getting used to. Right. Oh, oh, and I missed a bit of the gun here. That's embarrassing.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little more water. Again, I know I'm over thinning it, but I don't mind that. I can always pull it up a little more later. Let's get a second coat down on this now. The first one seems to be more or less dry. I want this to be very dark. I do not want the blue to show through. But I also don't want to put so much down that it becomes an issue. I will have to touch up his hands later, but that's not the worst outcome. Just want to get that nook right there and Okay, the back of the lens is good. Now, if you can see, I have a pretty good base already. That's the first and the second coats. They're drying pretty effectively. Just want to make sure to spread out a bit more so that it doesn't get too dense. Oh, and I missed a section here right on the base. Uh -huh. Again, most of these little areas, like the little nooks and crannies on here, the wash will cover later. But if possible, I would rather not rely on that. Okay. Now, I did get a bit of the hand here. I'm not sure if you can see it. The hand, yeah, you can kind of see it. It is a little dark there because I hit it up more than I should. That will be something I have to correct later. But eh, as far as worst outcomes go, it's not that bad. Just going to put another second layer down right on the crotch. Just make it a little darker, a little more visible. Okay, all together, that's not too bad. It's not going out of the lines too bad. And now let's just work over here. Just a little there, a little of the ass cheek. Just a dabble do ya, you know? Huh, that actually doesn't look half bad. Okay, the arms on this one are, uh, there is a section I could get right there, but I'm not actually sure I could reach it. Yeah, I put a little black in there, but it's such a hard area to see. Yeah, I think I got more areas that I didn't mean to than I meant, but it's there. I won't put more than a single coat on. Uh, there's a little, yeah, there's a little bit right there. I will be going over a lot of these later on, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I definitely want to hit them up. Okay, now let's just uh, say that's enough for black right now. <clears throat> Next up, I think I will start with the silver and tail. This guy is mostly blue, so that's the predominant color there. Silver, though, will be a little more interesting because I'm going to get bits and pieces of the mask. The pieces that are just there. Can you see it? No, not really. Yeah, there it goes. It's zooming in. Those guys will be important to get. All right. All right, just getting enough of the water off the brush. Okay. Okay, I think the next color will be silver. I know usually I would rather not go to that right away, but at the same time, I don't need to worry. First things first, make sure to close this up, and closing these is always a pain, because it doesn't always want to... There we go. I want to make sure it has a nice tight seal so the paint doesn't dry out. I've heard with Citadel that is actually an issue. Ah, that sounds like it should be censored. Now that, that is good paint. Let it start dripping in there so it'll save it up. I don't want to waste too much of it by dripping out. So let's move this over here. Make sure my brush is dry, that it's not going to be contaminated. Ah, there is a little black still on my brush. I'm going to try and get a little more off it. Now, since it's a darker color to start with, if there is a mistake, it will be much more visible among the silver. But I wanted to do that first because it's the more important layer in my opinion. Still though, there's worse things than having a little darker silver. 
I'm not thinking of one of them off the top of my head, but I'm sure there is. Okay, got the thinning. Ooh, a little more. I know I thin my paints a little too much, but it's a preference of mine to have too thin a paint as opposed to too thick. That's just, again, personal preference. I could start with the head. I want to get those. There's tiny little detail right there where you could just see the face. But first thing, I'll do the easy one. Get the machinery. Yeah, just put on a nice big glob. Now there's a little too much paint right there, so I'll spread it really thin in the back. That's good. Uh, see that? As soon as my brush has a little less ink on it, instead of wasting it away, I'll just then go pull it off the back. Now that will be a hard angle to get. to pull this one. Now, there's a little corner right here. Ha! Got it. Just get that little ring right there. Ah, stream crashed again. It does that. Yeah, I hate how that happens. Stream's back. Sorry about that. It's an issue I've had with my current setup. I'm not sure why it does that. And now that I got that extra off. Okay. So I've got the extra paint off the inside of the machinery, the device he's holding. And I should be able to just take it away now. <clears throat> All right, not bad. Still, gotta get all the little pieces over here. Just wanna make sure I get a nice even coating on it. All right. I think that's more than enough. I'm being a perfectionist right now, but I do so enjoy that part. Ah, there it is. Go get a little more here. Yeah, I put enough water on that it's not drying out too fast, which is one of the issues I've had with some of the paints. We'll need to touch up his hand later, so I'll have to remember that. Okay. Got the first layer of that down. And yes, I might just be doing this because I want to put off the hard section. I can touch up the hand because I did get a bit on there more than I meant. That won't be the worst outcome. All right. Now, where to next? Hmm. I wonder, if I, I hope my voice is recording. That would really be awkward. Hmm. Also, I am wondering. By the way, is anyone able to chat? I don't see anyone talking. Usually there's a lot of people spamming it by now. Not complaining, but I'll just double check to make sure I didn't disable chat again. That, uh, I, I do that sometimes. It's awkward. I swear, I'm not just doing this to um, p put off hitting that one part of the helmet that I can't quite see. I just need to get a little silver on it. That 
It's not a worst possible outcome, but it will be interesting. That's the word for it. Interesting. Hmm. Well, first up, get a little more silver. It's starting to dry out, so I'm going to put a little more water on it. At this point, though, it's a very loose silver, but I'm actually okay with that. Because where I'm about to go to next, I'd much rather have a much finer silver. Let's see if you can just hit it right there. Just the mask. Yeah, not bad. I think I just got what I want. And... I will need to touch this area up, but I think it's good. Yeah, I got too much of it silver. There is a little too much on the head. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's a little more there than I meant to be, which is, okay, that's not something I'm going to be able to fix right away, but I can always get that later when I go to get the rest of the section. I will put a second layer down on it, and hopefully it won't be too bad. Before I do that, though, I'm going to get the underside of this gun. I think I'll hit the clip, the back of the gun. Yeah, that'll work. It's more visible on this side, oddly enough. Let's see if I can pull this in just right. Okay. And right up to the stock. Okay. Now that's looking really nice. Because I have the darker layer behind it, this should look how I want it to. The blue shining through would be very distracting, but black, black adds character. Just gotta make sure it's nice and everywhere. I can always hit that up later. Make sure there's nothing missing. Ideally, this would be brighter, but my lack of light in this case is going to just be what I have. Hmm. And, okay, I want to just tighten this up a bit. My brush was starting to fray. This one that I'm using, it has a habit of doing that sometimes when there's not a lot of liquid on it. It's not really a big deal. I don't worry about it too much, but it's it's noticeable. Okay, that's a little too much. Get the back. I'm not actually hitting it with the tip of my brush. What I'm trying to do is to, and again, trying to just get the parts I want with the flat right next to it. That way I can pull it, which is a lot easier to control. I'm still, you know, not getting it where I want entirely, but it'll be a lot easier to clean up later on than that, fix it now. See if I can get the light right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Now let's see. Just make sure it's... that's a good first layer. I will come back to that. It's been long enough though, so I'm gonna go and uh, hit this guy up. Put down a second layer on here, just 
touch everything up. I can see a few places where the blue is still showing through. Although it could just be reflected as well. These are, this is a very reflective color. Not perfect. Now I just need to touch up the head one more time. And that should also be the last of the paint I have here that's not dry. Nah, swirl that around a little more. Okay, I got a nice fine tip on there. So I can really jump right in now. And just put Okay, that's not perfect, but it will do for the moment. Now, I do want to hit up the eyes with red next. Get them in there as a little detail. And then I might want to design fun with the backpack. Just, let's see, I normally do the black thrusters, but uh, let's try silver right now. Make the vents a different color, just to screw around. Just rub that in there, make sure it gets nice in there. And get the silver around the edge as well. All right. Okay, that looks good. Let's see if I can just drop that in there. I'm just trying to work it into the cracks without putting too much in. It's not a good technique I'm using. And I know in all honesty, someone's probably looking at this going, Gah, why are you so bad? To which I would say, I'm me, I am bad. Yep, that is a thing. Huh. My computer is being really weird right now. I do not know why. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, one second. I'm going to quickly just drop this guy. Oh, right there is try. I need to double check something quickly. I think I might have disabled chat. Did I disable chat? That would be embarrassing. <laughs> like I've never done ever. I mean, I've never done embarrassing things. That 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 never happens. It happens all the time. All the time. All right. Going there. I just want to make sure that this is actually working. Also, I note I did not put it in the wet paints. I've been using this for a while, so that's completely different. <laughs> I hope. If it's not, um, well, I'll have some interesting little stains. Okay, wow. That, um, that did not sound like I wanted it to. Just, just to pretend I didn't say anything. I probably shouldn't say anything about that. Oh, God. Huh, okay. Chat seems to be working normally. Good to know. Okay. I was actually worried for a second that my chat wasn't actually working. Huh, okay, now it is. Well, now that's just odd. Oops. Huh, so my chat was just not updating. That's okay. Let's go with that. I'm just going to move this out of the screen. 
So for everyone who jumped in, thanks. Sorry, for some reason it was not showing me that anyone was chatting. It was a little awkward. All right. Just let me know if it uh, freezes up again. Actually, I waited long enough. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can add enough wire to get it back up. Nope, nope, there's just enough there for what I want. <laughs> oh man, hey, you were opening for an ASMR stream? With my voice, would you ever actually get that? Okay. Oh, this fills it out nicely. Now that, that just, it clings exactly where I want it to. Oh, that's a beauty. And, okay. I am like how that goes. Let's add a second bit back here. Get a little more on here. I don't need much, just enough to add it in. Okay. Eh, McAfee. For some reason, it installed itself on my computer and it decides to upgrade all the time. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. I have something else. Why are you doing that? Oh. Touch that up one more time, just right on the side of the head. Just touch it. Just, just touch it a little bit. Ah, there we go. It's not perfect, and I'll have to go over it a lot later with blue to cover the mistakes. But not bad. So the first part is done where I want it to be. See if it'll zoom in on that. Ah, there we go. Ah, that looks pretty good, I think. It's getting along. I still need to add a few touches. I definitely want to focus on the eagle. I'm going to hold off on the uh, gold until near the end. But I think for now it's coming along where I want it to. Uh, let's see. Just, uh, I think I'll do those in white. The pouch is in white in the back. Uh, his plates I'll leave blue. Yeah, I'll leave the plates blue. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Let's move on to white. And then we'll drop in a little bit red right after that. Actually, no, let's do the red first because... You can barely see it, but there's one of the purity symbols right where my thumb is. I want to get that, but the problem is there's two things right next to each other. The red for the seal and the actual scriptures below it that are completely white. If I do the white first, I can cover it over with red, or I can drop over too much with the other one. It really depends which I have more control over. Since the red is further in, I will have less control because there's just less I can do with it. So I will try and do... Ah, one sec, just gotta really dry this brush off. I do not want... Okay. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna just close up the silver. Good little click there. And let's go into the Rackarth Flesh. Oh, you can hear that. And yeah, the Smurfs, I am doing them. They're a good starter set, I heard, and I am definitely starting up. And I just closed the box on me. Oops. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Ah, trying to pour over the wrong side. Let's just drop this in here. Get a little water. I'm fine with making it too wet, personally. After all, more layers is not a bad thing. Okay, now that is definitely too wet. Thin out the paint. And now let's start with the seal. Actually, wait, the seal is red. So for the scripture, just nice and controlled. And I already hit the wrong thing. Oh, well. It's the blue. I'll do that last to touch up everything I need. As you can see, this is a very thin coat. I'm actually going to get a little more of it, mix that together. Take 
Move off my brush. Eh, still pretty bad, but I can do multiple layering, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, that's the bit on the seal. It's starting to sit down out more, nice. Where else should I have this? Hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to do the pouches, that's it. Now this one's a little more difficult, just put a little there. Okay, not bad. Okay. Pouch is coming along nicely. I know they're supposed to be a different color, but honestly, I just really like this one. Especially with how it interacts with the wash. It looks so weathered and worn by the time it's done that I personally think it looks much cooler. All right. The side plating I will leave the same, so I won't touch that. The eyes, I don't need to worry about. There's no real masks here. So this is a much simpler one to paint. I think it's been long enough. Uh, yep, just put another layer on here. Make sure it's a really nice bright one. I want this to be a stronger color here, so I need to put a few more layers on. And the stream crashed. Uh, of course it did. Not sure why it's doing that. It's very annoying. As you can see though, the base is nearly done. Not the base, but the uh, first layer. Adding the second one in. It's still pretty thin. But I don't need to work so hard on this one. And as for the sections that come after it, they'll be much easier. Okay, so as you can see now, we have most, uh, as going to zoom in, uh, camera, this is where you zoom. Any second now. You uh, you going to zoom or sign? Oh, now it's zooming. Nice. So as you can see, I think that worked out pretty well. Yeah. Got the different pieces, the items. Uh, there's a few issues I have, but they're not too bad. So they're in. I paint the butt. All right, so I think I got most of that down. That That is going to annoy me how there's a bit of the silver. I'm going to have to fix that up. The sandwich spontaneously combusted. Why would you do that? All right. Now let's see. I'm going to put a third layer on because I have very watery paints right now. In fact, just to get a little more usage out of this. Third layer should be a fine for me. After that, I'll move on. This is a very thin area, so I'm not too worried. Now that's what I forgot to get black earlier. Ah, the tops. I always like hitting the top of the uh, pouches in black. That's a personal thing. Should have done that, but I completely missed it. OK, 
Okay. Next up will be the gold trim in the red. Not in that order. I think I will go with the red first. Looks pretty good. Coming along nicely. All right. Okay, it's as dry as it's going to get. Well, as far as I care to get it. Before I do that, I just got to close this up. Do not want to forget. Nice and tight. And the red. Hey, Kobe, what's up, man? Thanks for dropping in. Let's do the reds. That's a nice tip. For them, I just want to get right in the eye. Just a little. Maybe tighten up that tip a little more. What I'm doing is rolling it through there to actually achieve a point with this. Lot, just, just enough. And I already fucked it up. Okay, so I got one bit on the head that... Uh, see if I can get a little closer to see. As you can see, I got a little on the head. I didn't want to. That that will be easy to cover up later. I'm not too worried. Yep. For right now, let's get that little seal right in the corner. You can just barely see it. Ah. Huh. Better light. That'll work. Whoop. Ah, damn. I'll be honest, I actually kind of like how that looks. I splattered a little bit of the red too far behind on the seal. Let's see how I. And it has an odd little splatter pattern, but I kind of like how that looks, so I might just leave it like that. These guys are supposed to be bloodstained, so why not? Just tighten up that tip on my... Nice tight tip, nice. Okay, not perfect, but it'll do for now. Let's just go back here, add a little more layer to the eye. I want that to make sure to stay. Again, not perfect, but I can deal with that. I can touch up with blue later, so not too bad. All right. Now let's just add a little more to this seal.
Okay, so I actually broke down my tip a bit here. I'm going to try to sign. Ah. Okay. Still not sure why it's doing that. If anyone knows how to fix that in the camcorder, let me know. I would like to stop that from happening. Also, Sammy, sub. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, what you missed was... <sighs> My camcorder is a bitch. Okay, that's better. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's, uh, it's quite annoying. I'm very annoyed by it. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the camera crashed. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I'm using a cam link to go off a camcorder itself. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know. <sighs> Sorry again. Sammy, why wouldn't you paint the butt? It's like, what, what? In all the butt? I should feel sorry for that one. Just trying to figure out if there's anything else I really need. No, I think I can move on to the gold details now. Yeah, my water is now completely red. All right. Tip looks clean. Just double check it. Eh, it's clean enough. Yeah, there was a little bleed over, but not enough to worry about. Close this up. Not exactly quick, but it'll do. Before I move on to the gold, should I touch up anything? Nah, it looks pretty good right now. Let's move on to gold. Honestly? And seriously, it crashed? What the hell is up with my computer? Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure why it keeps crashing. Yeah, Wolf, I did prime blue. That, uh, I realized that was a mistake later on, but, yeah, too late to fix that now. Or more, I primed blue, and then I actually put down a layer of play, uh, paint on top that was also blue. So, I've actually painted everything. It's already painted blue. That's why I'm touching up blue next. I just don't think that's interesting because I lay it down thick. Or I guess you could say I lay it on thick. Yeah, I should feel bad for that one. All right, this one though is going to be a little different. I just want to touch it up right on this. All right. Just get that all in the same shade. Ooh, I got a little bit too much right on the corner there. Can't really see it because of the shadow, but I, I notice it and it bugs me. Again, not hard to touch up later. Get a little more paint. This one is drying really fast.
Not perfect, but that'll have to do for now. So I got one shoulder pad. It's it's a little splotchy right now. Right now? What the hell am I saying? It's like I have a bad Australian accent. Alright, let's try it over here. Ah, oh, no, this is easier. It's less covered, at more light access. I can tell exactly where I'm putting my stuff. Still making little mistakes here and there, but... Again, nothing a little touch-up can't fix. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, uh, Retro Warrior, I actually haven't touched the Mechanicus yet. The body horror aspect of them scares the hell out of me. Which actually surprises me that I actually like Death Guard. Well, less Death Guard and more their abilities are just so uh, resilient, I guess you could say. I feel bad for making that pun. Granted, it's only a pun if you know what their ability is, but I'm not going to count that. Alright, so yeah, that came out pretty well. Not as many issues. Okay, there's a few big splotches I screwed up. Oh, just put a little more here. Next up, we got the eagle. Now, that one I'm looking forward to. Just uh, get a little more here. And drop it in. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let's see if I can get nice. But I got a little too much done on top of the eagle there. So that is actually an issue. I will have to dry brush that, but I'm not sure I can hit such a tight space. Well, it's not really an eagle. It's more like the wings of the skull, but eh, wings, eagle. It's all the same thing, except for the fact they're not related to the slice. But I'm going to ignore that fact. All right, so it's starting to really come along. Now, I do want to go back and give a second layer. Oops. Ah. I got a nice big swatch there I hit accidentally. I'll get that in a second. Ah, okay, I should stop doing that. I just got a whole bunch of gold on this thing. Actually, I kind of like how that looks. Let me try that on purpose. <laughs> okay, eh, the stream crashed. Okay, so that's back. Not sure why it does that. Again, if anyone knows how to keep a camcorder, uh, camcorder from crashing in Cam Link, uh, I would appreciate that because this is the first time I've done this kind of thing. And fixing it up would be nice. So what was missed is that I put a little gold right into the inside of the machine after I've accidentally uh, put a little too much on the back of it. 
You can't really see it, but I can, and that annoys me. Yeah, Wolf, I don't know why the stream's doing that. It's actually exactly my camcorder. It just cuts out after so long. I don't know why it does that, and it's very annoying. I might have to fix that. Okay, just enough time to get another layer of gold on here, just for good measure. This is a very, very good paint. I could probably get away with not doing a second layer or a third, but I want to because I like using this gold. Ah, dexterity, you are not something I have. I've basically covered that entire corner goal by accident. Yeah. I'm going to have to touch up a lot of that. Well, at least I know where to hit. And it's still not that bad. Now, I did mention there was a little eagle on the side. Well, skull thing. So I'm going to just give it a little color right now. Might need to edge this out later, but honestly, I think it should be good. I'm going to dry that off a bit. Okay, it's a very light layer on that. But it does add a nice bit of character to the gun, I think. Okay, it's only on the one side, too. Not bad. like how that looks. This guy's pretty straightforward. I think he's coming along well. Oh, hey, will you look at that? I crashed again. Woo! I might have to return this. It's very annoying. Uh, Kigmura. Basically, I got a copyright claim from a company I'm not even sure about. I think they put on the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged 79 by accident. They'll probably dismiss it soon because they've been waiting weeks. Retro Warrior, not enough story to understand everything, but enough that I want to know more. I'm going to add a little bit more paint here. You can see what I'm doing here. Just swirling it around. It's very light right now, so I'm just adding tiny layers. Right, there's a couple layers down. That is very shiny. I am very content with how that looks. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Now that is nice. That is very nice. I'm quite satisfied with that. 
I need to make a lot of corrections, though, because my hand slipped to hell and back. Hmm. Anything else I need to hit gold before I move on? No, I'm pretty good here. Oh. I wanted to make one little change. It's just something I like doing, is giving the little exhaust ports a bit of gold. Do they need that? No. Should I do that? Probably not. Will I do it anyways? Yeah. All right. Now I have so little on there. Yeah, Sam, I mean, as you can tell, I'm very much a beginner. This is the fourth model I've ever made, or at least painted. So, could be worse, could be better. Definitely could be better. All right. adding a thicker layer up here first one was a little too thin I don't mind just as a base but I like to have it a little thicker overall yeah I don't know why but these exhaust ports I just like painting them gold I did it all on the other ones too do I need to no am I going to yeah Again, this is not the most detailed one. But I think it's working out pretty well. I did pay most of it blue in advance, so there's not much painting to this. Hell, I might even do, well, depending on how things work out, I might even do another one. Just because I'm having fun. And it's not going as bad as I feared. Just gotta... Okay. Gotta put this over here. The Templin Institute? I actually don't know what the Templin Institute is. It sounds familiar, though. I think it's a Fallout reference? No, no, that's just the Institute is a Fallout reference. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close up the gold. Just don't want to let it dry out. Okay. Now, before I move on, there's a few things I screwed up. Because I'm going to be doing more detail, I'm going to switch brushes. Do I need to? No. But it's one of those mental things where it makes me think it helps, and hey, placebo effect is a real thing. Seriously, it is. It's kind of crazy how much placebo effect works. I forgot what color I was going to next. Well then, um, I should probably do something about that. Let's see. I think I will touch up with silver next, then do a little touch up on... Actually, yeah, silver is the one that needs it because I screwed up that corner right there. After that, oh, black. Yeah, black because I forgot one section. All right. I probably don't need to shake it again, but for good measure, I want to shake it again. big glob there. Well, it's not really a big glob, but it's a glob. Alright, that looks good. 
Nice and detail-oriented. Just gotta cover that up. Huh. That did not come out of the lines more than I thought it did. I really thought that would be a little worse off, but no, no, it came out pretty well. Get the measure. I'm just going to cover that. All right. And actually, Retro Warrior, when it comes to lore videos, I just watched a lot of what Lutin, Lukin, or have you say his name is? I watched all of his ones on 40K so far. They're really fun, actually. I quite enjoy them. Yeah, no, I didn't fuck up the gold or the silver as much as I feared. Hmm. Not bad. Actually, that turned out pretty well. For fun, I'm just going to paint the tip. And just one of those things where I don't need to do this, but I want to do this. Forty K theories, the YouTube channel. Ooh, Draco, I've seen that one, but I won't get more on the actual canon lore before I go into the theories about it. But he is on my list of things I want to watch. All right. Again, why did I paint the tip of the gun in silver? Shits and giggles. In fact, I'm just going to paint everything silver up here. Because I like silver. I guess it'll make it easier to touch up later. Okay, so I've got silver-tipped gun with a golden, almost bronze in the backs there. I think this is coming along well. Let's move on to the black now. That will be the one to really need the touch-ups. So there's a few points where I didn't even do it all together, and that I need to take care of. Ah. Arc Warhammer? Uh, Angry Finn, I haven't. Again, most of the lore I've seen is strictly from Luton. I'm watching uh, Arch Lorham or Arch Warhammer right now and some of his things, but they're less in a playlist that's organized, so I haven't been able to get into it nearly as much. I do enjoy it, though. Well, it's actually going to... I'm not sure why I'm shaking that up. All right, let's go with the black one next. Oh, that came up with a nice big bubble there. Okay, I can work with that. Okay, just get in there. Oh, 
Okay. A little more than I want on there, but where I need control... Actually, I'm going to thin that a bit more. A little more. That'll do. Actually. Now that's what I'm looking for. A nice, strong tip. Covering up the bases here so they don't look silver on top of the actual points. Again, there's no real purpose to this, but I find it fun and I like how it looks, which is you know, all I care about. Nice bit of ink on the edge, just for a little fine detail work. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm quite satisfied with that. Now, I did forget these back here. I don't have to get them now. Yeah, I did just get the back of it. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Wait for it to come into focus. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I got that. It's a little overlapped, and I tried to get behind the piece as well, right in the covering. I completely didn't, but... Uh, beggars, choosers, you know the deal. Anything else I need black on right off the bat? No, this looks like it should be good. I just want to maybe touch that. No, it doesn't need it. Oh, that's what it was, the other side of the gun. I don't know why I just forgot that completely. That's actually a little embarrassing. That's what I need on there. Any other spots I need to hit? Ah, hmm. uh, so Retro, you do more fantasy? See, I'm holding off on fantasy just because the temptation to get more models would be unbearable, and I'm going to avoid that because I've got enough right now. But it does sound fun. Uh, unfortunately, there is no whole table. This is all the space I have right now. The rest is covered in my other equipment. I need a better space or space to do these models. So, Chill Spartan, unfortunately, this is all there is. If I can come up with a better uh, recording setup, I will show the full table when I have a table. Because what you see here is the only space not covered by uh, cameras and monitors.
All right, so I think I can now hit up the blue. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, it looks like I'm finally ready for blue. And this guy, he's a lot easier to do this one than the Reavers. They had a lot more personality, it seems, but not bad. Just get that nice and shook out. Ah, that's the sound. That is a sound, all right. Oh, yeah. Just go in there. Nice big glob. Okay, very tiny amount on there. Let's start off easy. Let's just go in and match that up. Okay. Might need a little more in on there. Get that shoulder piece. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to thin that out. I have a little too much build up in where I don't want it. Nah, that's better. Okay, I got a nice solid tip. Okay, get the exhaust ports. Just want to hit the outside so they're not visible. Coming along nicely. Mm. I do want a bit more over here. Now there's a little more ink on my brush that I'm usually okay with, but I want to have it hold that texture a little longer. Now, I overpainted a little on one of the lines, so I might need to go back and fix that as well, but right now it's not that big a deal. Right, pull a little more to the tip. Nice point. Let's see if I can just get that little. Oh, 
All right, that looks a lot better. Now for the other one, which has a lot bigger gap. Nice, bright start. Now that one got fixed nice and easily. Oops. Now, I did just make a really big mistake and covered over one of the pieces on the shoulder again right here. I will need to go back and fix that, but later. Now I just want to touch up the sides of the helmet. And the helmet itself where I had a little too much red. Nice. Got a little too much on there. Might just add a drop of red layer to make up for it. I think the most part this is okay. Touch up his hand and that'll be the last big one. Okay, seriously, I need to figure out what the hell's up with this stream. <sighs> I don't know why it keeps doing that. Sorry about that. Okay, hand is a lot better, and I still have the handle in, so the detail there looks right. I do realize what I was forgetting. I forgot the back of his legs. There should be a black section there. I'm actually a bit embarrassed about that. That, that is actually embarrassing. Any other places I really need to hit, though? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, there's a little extra right here. A little more on the tip so I can really work it in. Ah, oh, that's nice. Now that worked nicely. I think for the most part, that looks pretty good. Now I just need to touch up a little silver right there. Actually, no, that's gold right there. Uh, wait, I can get this part. Uh, 
that worked. So yeah, I just need a little bit of gold for that piece I uh, butchered. Still embarrassed. And black for the back of the knees. And that should be enough for that. Now just put this down. All right, see you later, uh, Angry Finn. Thanks for dropping by, too. All right. Oh, yeah, there's still paint left on this one. I had a little more in the brush that I meant to. Have to work that out a bit. All right. Hmm. Also, I need to find a better location for the camera. It's on a decent mount right now, but... Oh, that would work. Huh, that would work pretty well. I have an idea for the next time where I'm going to place it. First up, I just want to close this. Do not want these to dry out. That would be bad. And get the black back. I'll just get the back of the knee while I'm at it, then I'll move on to gold. Oh, did not do it right. Uh, okay. I don't need much black. There's not much I need to do here. That's more than I need on my brush. Ah, that's better. Just a little bit. Maybe a little more. All right, that looks pretty good. I need to touch it up when it dries, but... Not bad. No, nah, it's a little too thick. I'm going to take a little layer off. I will need to touch that up, but I can deal with that. A little more. All right, I will need to touch that up, but it looks a lot better because I was noticing how it was such a, it was the interior parts without the interior coloring and that, that bugged me. Hey, Dem, thanks for playing in the background. That's awesome. You should do that. Sounds like a great idea. All right. Now just get the last of the black out. Nah, there's a good bit that was still up further in the root of the brush. Uh huh. Okay, now I might blow up a little more blue after this. Okay, the black's closed. I need to do a little red touch up on the eye because I overshot it just a tiny bit. Ooh, fresh pot. Uh, okay, that's ready. I 
I'm not too worried about that. That's a tiny little thing. Tiny little bit of water. All right. Nice sharp point on that. I do not mind that. I know it's not perfect on the eyes, but I think after I add the wash, it'll look just like I want it to. Let me hear. I'm just going to add a little more to that. Just a little extra crispness on the uh, seal. No real complaints there. And a red knob. Does it need a red knob? No. Does it change anything? No. Does it look cool? I think it does. Just as you can barely see. There's a tiny red dot right on the machinery. It does nothing, but I think it's cool. Again, I do most things by rule of stupid. I mean cool. Rule of cool. <laughs> oh, man. Just uh, almost got this done. Okay. And now, no, don't want to forget to close this up. Let's see, I know there's a little black I need to double touch. Oh, gold. Gold is what I need to double touch. And then I'll just take one pass over and blue, and this should be enough. And then we could go on to the wash and call this, well, not done because there's still way more I could do, but done enough. Just a tiny little dab. Nice. I gotta say, the fine control on this brush, it's very nice. You can just really add color how you want. Makes it a lot easier to control. Uh, gotta say, I really like using it. It maintains a point so well. I'd barely have to do anything to keep it there. Just touch these up a little. Just give it a little bit more crispness. Ah, oh, that's nice. And then a little bit more here. Okay, that should be close to it. I just need to hit one more thing of uh, blue just to cover up the back. And I think there was, ah, right behind the skull, there's a little too much there. When I get that done, I'll be able to move on to the wash. So we're really close now. Wait, Dem, you used to paint your towel in camo? That seems really cool. I'm personally surprised someone hasn't made it just a Gundam army yet. I mean, they look like very basic Gundams, which I actually thought was intentional. And yes, I realize I probably just triggered someone by, one, bringing up the towel, and two, calling them Gundam-esque. But that's how they look to me. I know people don't agree, but, well, people on the internet are not agreeing. Who ever heard of that happening? Oh, that has a nice snap to it. Very satisfying. All right, just uh, 
shake it up. As you can tell, I also use blue a lot. It's like I've been doing Ultra Smurfs. I actually do like using them too. They're a great beginner army, and I am a beginner. All right. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think I've got it. Uh-huh. Let's see about back here first. Okay, it's actually not as bad as I feared. The bleed over on this one is minuscule at best. I think the hardest part is trying to figure out which is a shadow and which is actually a paint drop. Huh. I think I got most of it. Oh, wait. Yeah, that actually would bug me. Is that okay? Yeah, that is. That was being a little too perfectionist, I think. But, oops. Any, okay, that's where I need just right behind the golden skull. There's a little too much gold on that, and I realize if the emperor was here, he would smite me for saying that. Got a little more off that I wanted, but it's just enough that I think it won't matter. But it brings in the relief again right where I need it as well. Oh, wait. Huh, there was a black dot up there I missed. Is that everything? Oh, wait, no. I got a bit of this finger silver. That, how did I miss that, huh? All right. I think that looks pretty good. It looks like a good marine intercessor there. Again, I haven't done anything to the base, so that's more just my issue. But yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Retro Warrior. I want to work myself up to being good enough to actually do a knight. That is what I'm really looking forward to. I will buy a table and redo my entire setup just so I can paint a knight. But I won't be just painting. I'll be building and everything on stream, and that will be like... A highlight. This right now is practice to get to that point. And I am looking forward to it. Oh, wait, there was a lecture here I missed. I'm not going to thin that one. I don't need it too much. It's not perfect, but I think it looks good enough. Which means I just need to close this up quickly. Love the sound of that. Seriously, it's just a nice, refreshing sound. 
just get the last of the water out. And Okay. Now I'm going to just uh maintain that nice tip. Part of the reason I do this is so that I can remember which one goes on this. It helps me remember which one I want to use later. And now I will move over to this one. As soon as I can get off. This is one that is actually labeled as a shading brush by Citadel. I'm just going to use it for that purpose because why not? I don't know if I need to shake this up, but I will. This is the pre-super uh, watered down shade oil, the Noonan oil. I swear by this stuff. Now, I know I use too much shade on this, but I actually like the more worn down look. So let's start. First, let's get the helmet. Just get it right in there. Get all the cracks in there. Let's get it all over there. Just want to really pull it in. And I'll get a little of it. Nice on the Aquila. Well, technically, this is not the Aquila, it's just the death head, but I can definitely pull that out if I can. Highlight as many of these. Slightly blood splatter on there. I don't want to go too heavy on there yet. I mean, I like the worn down look, so I'm fine with it, but I don't want to put it on too fast like that. Definitely want to get into these little nooks and crannies on the back of his jump pack. really want to tarnish that Aquila. That, I keep going into the Aquila even though I know it's not. I guess the Eagle Death Head? I'm not really sure what to call it. Huh. Let's get these nice in here. Really pull out the details. Just make everything look aged. Especially the machinery. Especially the machinery. Pull it down to the corners on that. Get a lot more sense of just weight.
I think I just completely missed getting this leg. That is quite embarrassing. Ah, shrimp crashed. Sorry about that. I don't know why it does that. Very annoying. Still, though, I'm getting closer to the point where I think I have enough. Again, I know I'm putting too much on here, but I love how it looks. Just like the beat and the worn down. How it makes you seem like every single damn thing is about to destroy this thing. I love that just dark look to it. You can tell I'm putting a good bit on him, but it just, it, it looks right to me to have someone who looks battle-worn. Too shiny and too new just does not feel good when it comes to these guys. But again, that's just my opinion. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still mostly blue and straightforward, but not a bad deal. Just going to thin this out a bit. All right. I like how that looks. Just clean this up. And I think this is mostly how it's going to be. All right. And there we have what, if I can find the camera lens, this is how he's going to look at the end. Not perfect, but I think it looks just right. As it dries off, it'll probably get a little darker. I've noticed this actually does darken as it dries. And then given time afterwards, it'll be a little better. But I think it came out all right. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Before I forget, though, I just want to definitely clean this off. So, yeah, for everyone watching, thanks. I know it crashed a ton of times. I'm still trying to figure out why. Eh, new camera setup. I'll probably play around with it. If I do this again, I'll have a new angle. I'll probably pull in an entire desk, have, like, a much more professional setup, maybe straight down looking. It sounds like it would be a good idea to me. I have no idea if it would be, but I want to. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. And is this thing dry yet? Yeah. Oop. Before I do anything, I actually want to leave a little water on there just so I can actually... Not a lot of water, just enough. All right. That's on the verge of being dry. Nice. Damn it. It was so close. Yeah, I know. This is what I do every time to make sure the bristles stay together. It's something I'm very particular about. And it looks like it's taken care of. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. I'm going to work on the setup, make sure that camera has a better angle next time and that it won't crash continuously. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm pretty happy how this turned out. Yeah. I'll throw up a finished picture of it in a minute on YouTube and see what happens. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Adios.